Hi, Dr. Connor here. I wanted to share with you some kettlebell activities, although we're going to use an at-home alternative today. And these are from Gopher Sport, and they're the Active at Home series. So if you go on the Gopher Sport website, um, you'll be able to get pictures of these activities, or you can learn them from the video. So here we go. So we got three categories of activities. We're going to do a few for our legs, a few for our arms, and some for our core area. So I'm using, just to demonstrate, um, a kettlebell is a weight with a hook handle on it. So you can very easily at home use a cleaned out milk jug or a laundry detergent bottle. Um, kids should start out with it empty so that you can learn how to do the activities correctly. And then once your body knows how to do the movements, you can gradually add a little bit of water. Make sure you put the lid on really tight so that it doesn't leak out. It'd be good to get an adult to help you. And then you can gradually increase the weight so that you're getting stronger as you're doing the exercises on different days. So I'm going to use this little tiger guy and I'm going to hold his arms as a handle. So this is going to be my kettlebell today to show you how to do the activities. So let's start with some lower body activities. So we want to stand with our feet nicely balanced, feet apart, knees bent a little bit. And I'm going to hold on to the handle, which is the, the arms of my little tiger here. I'm gonna hold him at my chest, and these are called um, squats. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna squat down, holding the kettlebell at our chest, which obviously if it was a weight, we'd be getting a little more work, and we're just gonna squat down. Remember to keep your back straight. Remember to lower your bottom down and try to keep your knees out over your feet. So that would be one. And you can do as, as many till you get the hang of it. Um, probably 10 is a good number to shoot for. Maybe start out with three to five. And so this would be um, our kettlebell squat. Okay, the next one we're going to do is called a lateral. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have our feet a little bit wider apart. Again, we're going to hold the, um, our kettlebell at our chest, and we're going to go out to the side. So again, bending our knee, getting a real good lean out to the side, getting some weight out over our foot. And then we go to the other side. And again, you can repeat it you know, three times, five times. When you get really good at it, you can get up to 10 times. As you add the weight, you might have to go down a little bit in number. And then the last one we're gonna do is called a single leg lift. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this in, I'm gonna have my feet kind of um, next to each other. I'm gonna have one foot that's gonna be lifting up and I'm gonna hold the kettlebell in the opposite hand. So what I'm gonna do, it's hanging down by my side. I'm just gonna lift my back leg and lower my arm down towards the floor. Keeping my balance and I'm gonna switch feet. I'm gonna switch arms. Again, I'm lifting my back leg and lowering the kettlebell down towards the floor. And then you can repeat it and practice it several times. So those are three exercises for our legs. Now let's do some exercises for our arms. So this one is called a single arm row. So it's a little bit like rowing. We're gonna have one leg out in front of the other. So we've got our feet balanced. We're holding the kettlebell out on the side. And then all we're gonna do is we're just gonna bend our arm and lift that kettlebell up towards our armpit. And then we can do it on the other side. We switch our feet, it's down by our side, and we lift it up towards our armpit. Obviously, it's fairly easy when you're using something that isn't heavy, but you're learning the technique so that when you do it with something heavier, then you're not gonna hurt yourself. All right, the next one is called a halo. So we're gonna hold the kettlebell up and we're gonna go up around our head. So you're gonna go up above your head, you're gonna go all the way around in a circle and come back to where you started. And then you can vary it. You can go the other direction on the next lap around and you're trying not to touch your head as you go around. It's a little more difficult with a teddy bear with his legs dangling down, but you wanna go all the way up around your legs. And with all of these, you wanna do them nice and slowly so that your muscles get a good workout. And then the last one is called a pullover. And so I'm gonna do this one backwards so you can see um, what's ha happening with the kettlebell. So I'm laying down in my sit-up position. I've got my arms up over my head and I'm just gonna lower the kettlebell down out over my head and bring it back up. And again, when this is heavier, you're gonna get a lot more work in keeping your body stable and in being able to move that weight. So those are our three arm exercises. And then that leaves us with some core exercises. 
So the first one is called a single arm sit up. So again, I'm laying down in my push up position. I've got the kettlebell in one of my arms and I have my other arm here laying down on the floor. And so actually I'm gonna switch so that you can see it better. So I've got my kettlebell over here. And so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit up and as I sit up, I'm raising up my kettlebell and I'm gonna stop right here when I get my elbow on the floor. So let me do that one again, I forgot what I was doing. So I've got my kettlebell up straight. I'm just gonna lift up until I'm on my elbow. I'm not pushing down on this elbow. I'm actually doing the sit up with my core and then I just stop when my elbow gets to that position. And then you can switch hands with your kettlebell and do the same thing up on the other side. So you're lifting it up and stopping when your elbow's on the floor. Hi, Charlie. This is my cat, Charlie. He's come to see us. This is where he likes to come and get petted. So when I'm down here doing this, he, he likes to come visit. Hi, Charles. All right, now we have our side crunch. So we have our feet apart, kettlebell at the side. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lean over to the side and lower that kettlebell down. And then I can switch hands to the other side and I'm gonna lower that kettlebell down. And then the last one is called a figure eight. So I'm gonna be down like this. I'm holding that kettlebell with one hand between my legs and I'm gonna do a figure eight back behind my legs, back through and around coming around through the legs. And that's how we do our figure eight. So those are our kettlebell arm exercises. So again, you can use a detergent bottle, milk bottle. You can add water to get more weight as you get um, better at doing the exercises, but do them slowly, do them under control. Have fun.